Rick. Greetings from Villanova in Barcelona, Spain. Um, this is uh, just a way of uh, informing you what I want you to do with the collage that I'm sending. Uh, Matt may be bringing them back with him so you can get started on them since you said you wanted plenty of time to do the framing. Um, let me show you what I think you should uh, do with these. Um, what I want to do, these, there, there are 15 different collage uh, pieces. Each one of them should be floating on top of a neutral background, probably white or off-white, all the same color background. And what I've done, the idea is to float them, probably on a piece of foam core. It can be bigger than this. This just happens to be a piece I have in the studio. And just let them float on top with space all the way around on the background. Um, I would like them all to be framed the same size, the external measurement. So, which means that some of them are some of them are bigger than others. Some of them are smaller. So, some of them will have more breathing space around them than others. Um, I had hoped to do it on a square format. None of these are really square. Most of them are kind of rectangles. So, if it doesn't work on a square format, then we'll do rectangles all the same size. Um, which means that at some point, like this has like on this one here, this has only three and a half centimeters on each side, whereas the top and the bottom has like five. So, you know, which is not bad. I would say that the minimum on, this, on the short side should be five. And then whenever it comes out on, on, on the long side here, whatever that comes out. If it looks okay. If you think that squared it doesn't look good, then let's do them all rectangles, but all the same size. I would prefer squared. And so it's just a matter of floating them on a neutral background and then framing them with uh, metal frames. And I would like you to pick up the color in each one of them. For example, this is green, and so the frame on this one would be orange, and the frame on this one would be gold, and the frame on this one would be red, and so on. Um, there are some that are multicolored, and in which case you would just pick out uh, one of the one of the colors, as in this case, this is multicolored. So it, this is this is actually based on on flowers rather than a single color. So like here, you could, we could pull up the the pink, uh, the magenta, or the or the orange, or the. If I can figure out, you're gonna have to figure out which way these go. You can kind of tell. Put an arrow in the back, pointing up. <laughs> yeah, I may have to do that. Sometimes I can't even tell. Um, but anyway, I'll try. Yeah, I'll try and put an arrow on the back, and and then just you know leave a nice space without getting really big. I don't want them to get really big, and the metal frame. And in this case, we could pick up uh, pick up like I said the yellow or the magenta or the purple, um, and uh, regular glass. I don't think they need non-reflecting glass. And I guess that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, Matt can come by with his Skype and you can call me and you can talk it over with me. And these, we don't need these until October, <coughs> actually September of next year. So you've got plenty of time. Okay, see you soon. Bye.